So Dennis Schroeder to the Rockets. There's your Dennis Schroeder resolution. Schroeder out, Daniel Tice back in. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> but man, there are some loose ends to tie up here, aren't there? Oh Where's Ennis God. going? Where's the uh, shooting? Ennis is going to CPAC is where he's going. Um, yeah. You might see an Ennis. Release. Ennis will be a dump. Yeah, they have about... All right, so you got one million bucks in room right now. Oh no! You so this is interesting too. Tice makes about eight million. Tice makes eight with the versus the five. Makes six. There's you no way about, they did this without the without the money working. No, you got one under, so you had room to do that, uh, and it's about three under if if Brown doesn't make the All Star team, which he's probably not. So this just squeezes in under the tax, more or less. So I don't know. How do you move on from Ennis in this circumstance? Is he going OKC in some sort of thing here at the last minute? Um, that's my biggest question, obviously, remaining. But what do you think of Tice coming back? I mean, again, l- let's look at what's happened here. You did. You have now I, – I, you didn't get your shooting. And fine. I don't mind backup uh, you know, big, especially if you're going to renounce – Al and just take the $14 million savings next season, which it appears that they are Um, would have been nice if you could have just moved on from it though, altogether. Uh, If you found a way to improve yourself while giving that to me, I thought packaging Al with a first and, uh, and something might've been able to both buy you the the money you needed and allow you to, to trade up for something uh, to someone else. I, I thought that might have been a useful you know use of Al. I don't really understand now. I mean, it's a backup big that you're going to play instead of um, instead of uh, Ennis. So that gives you it gives Eme the flexibility to continue to start double big if he likes it. Um, but uh, now you're looking at a bench of uh, Derek White, Tice. I'm guessing Neesmith. Yep. Grant, you're gonna need Neesmith. You're gonna need Pritchard, and even in some triple wing or uh, triple guard uh, combinations out there. And Dennis is gone. All of you haters, I hope you're happy. There goes Dennis Schroeder. And you know what were we talking? Troy Brown, Dante Divincenzo. I guess is probably the peak of what you could have gone, but you need to throw in Grant there. So this, in the end, I think was one of the better players you could have returned. Period for Schroeder and. You turn that six million that was going to be gone at the end of the season into an eight million guy who's here for years to come. So that's pretty good cap management right there. The question is, is just how this comes together on the court this season right now. Uh, the roster you have in place, I think, has quite a few needs that, as we hit three o'clock here, seemingly went underdressed. Um, you have two open roster spots. We can look at the buyout market as that starts to trickle out into the night and tomorrow here. Uh, Bruno Fernando heading out in the deal as well. So. What are we talking about here? Four open roster spots, right? That's that's kind of weird. We'll obviously see what else leaks out here, but not bad. They definitely had an active deadline, right? We didn't expect all of this. Yeah, um, they did. They definitely did. Um, so see? again, so the the final details of this is Schroeder and Bruno. Uh, for Tice? Yep. Not final, final. I mean, there's there's quite a few roster spots open on the Celtics. I don't think they can leave those hanging for too long. Uh, so unless they're going to scoop some guys right up in the aftermath here, there's got to be more coming in. That's what Steve Pett is thinking as well. Um, and where's Ennis going? I mean, An- Ennis has to be going somewhere here, right? He's Oh, all right. Ennis is going to Houston as well. So Ennis, Bruno, Schroeder going to Houston with Tice coming back. It's like a big center dump on the Rockets' head. And people will be thrilled to see Ennis gone. He is right off to CPAC, right? <laughs> those, those dates did coincide with some Celtics games. I like the roster now. The roster is a little more solid than it was a day ago. You got rid of some of the loose end depth on the bottom tied that up a little bit you have some open roster spots to play with now uh, and you obviously get a connector in Derek white busy deadline for brad i think you made some good moves here um uh all right 
Well, um, I don't know. I don't know. We're trying to we're we're, we're thinking about it in real time here. Uh, this second move makes sense. I have no problem with it um, because great. You, you as you said, you dumped your bench bigs. You you clearly upgrade from Ennis and Bruno to Tice. Schroeder became redundant because you grabbed a point guard. Um, so that makes sense. Everything about this trade makes sense. There's, there's no other way to look at it. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. You just left wondering what they didn't do here, which is address the smart white thing. That's going to be a question entering Friday and shooting, which is obviously bare bones right now in this roster. You have one shooter, right? Grant. Uh, does he have to start now? We're kicking around three different starters pretty much at that one spot. There is definitely a lot to come here, even if it's not trades. Now as the deadline passes, uh, they're going to be looking at probably bringing Sam Hauser. How the many open least, rosters? Right? But what's the roster right now? You have your five starters. You have Derek White. You have Neesmith. You have Pritchard. You have Tice. That's nine. Um, what are we missing? You have... Yeah, who plays for the Celtics right now? Let's try to figure it out. Well, who am I missing? It's five, or it's ten, right, that are on the roster at this point because you sent out another guy on top of that. Horford's obviously still here. Yeah, you're the starters. Who are we forgetting? Grant? The, the yeah. starters, White, Neesmith, Pritchard, Tice. And Grant. And Grant, that's it. So, five, you got, so that's, that's 10? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, someone. Oh, it's yeah, because you sent out two no, it's 10. guys it's 10. at the it's beginning 10. of the day. No, yeah, I said so. it. I said it. It's the starters, White, and Tice. Neesmith. White, Neesmith, Pritchard, Tice, and Grant is your bench right now. You've Something's coming through. You're not mm-hmm. picking up five guys off the free agency. You've got 10. They have 10? Back. They got 10 on the active roster. Is that it? Yeah, because you sent out two this morning in Dozier and uh, Cole. And then you sent out two and three in this deal. I, I don't know. So, no, again, it's nine. it's nine, right? I, Bobby, I just, you, keep say, I just keep saying it. It's 10, man. You got the starters plus Derek White plus Preacher, Neesmith, Grant, and, uh, and Tice. It's 10. But the um, it's 10. It's 10. It's 10. All right. Now I'll yeah. crush the math. <laughs> it's 10. I, I could do it on my fingers. Pritchard, Neesmith, Grant, White, Tice. And Tice. Yep, there you go. All right, 10 guys. <sighs> hey, it's a, it's a thin rotation anyway, right? Who needs a bench? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess as, as long as no one gets hurt ever. So um, I guess, you know, obviously Hauser, I think, gets a, you know, we'll, we'll get a much more regular spot here. Um you know, and I, whether or not you start to use him, um, you know, that might be some some shooting. You, you got rid of Bull Bull. You got rid of Dozier. You got rid of Schroeder. You got rid of Ennis. You got rid of Bruno. Uh, I, Romeo, I feel, was a total freaking giveaway, and that's just cap math. Uh, I, I And I do think that they're going to regret that, even though obviously he hasn't been anything yet. Um, I'm worried about what he turns into. Um, but... That's it. So that's your roster. The second move makes sense given the first one. I I don't know how much better this team is. I'm not quite sure what the plan is anymore because now you've acquired both in well, both. Think Tice, of the second unit now. But it's not right? that, Bobby. I don't know what you're doing in in both. Now look at how look at how locked up you are. Both in terms. Of, I mean, you've locked up White, who's through 25, and Tice, who's through 25, also or 24. Uh, he has four years. There might be an option at the end, though. Actually, I don't think there is an option on here, so it'd be four, including this year. It's his contract, four for 35. So we got eight this year, eight, six, nine, one, and then a team option. So they the got thinner, year. and I don't know how much better. Okay, let's just go with the 10. Let's assume perfect health the rest of the way and the back filler, no real moves here. You like this team better than the one from three hours ago? 
Yeah, this team has a real chance to be a home court team in the East at this point, given their schedule, uh, the point guard that they added who's feasibly leading the bench now. You got Grant, <sighs> Tice, and you're going to need something else off that bench. You are. So they're going to have to get creative there in the second unit. But doesn't this open the door for Pritchard and Neesmith? Essentially, no, what it does is you have a you, big role. What it does is you have some salary filler for future trades. If you were to package, say, White and Rob together for a potential third star, you know, next year or Smart, that you're you're running out of picks. I really wish you didn't friggin' toss away another first here. But again, this is what pissed me off. And again, I know people in the chat are judging Romeo for what he is today. I am not judging Romeo for what he is or has been. I am judging Romeo for the person who you gave very little chance to develop. And my feeling is he's going to go to San Antonio. And in a month, we're going to be looking at that and be like, oh, He's playing pretty well for them, and everyone's going to be pissed off then. So we'll, we'll revisit this one in a month or two or at some point next year when Romeo is a useful NBA player. He wasn't given a chance here. Whether he deserved it or not is up for debate, but I do think you obviously sold as low as you possibly could. You've burnt a lot of assets, which is pre-existing draft capital or you know, in, in Romeo Langford and future capital just to move money around. Romeo burnt just to save money. A pick last year burnt to save money off of Kemba when you brought in uh, this year, rather, uh, when you brought in Horford and another pick as the sweetener to a deal just so they would take on Romeo as well. Um, so I don't know at this point. Um, well, looking at their opportunity for young guys, we've complained about Pritchard, Neesmith, Langford not having opportunity. Another first round pick on top of that would have probably been buried next season. So now you move out to and consolidate the youth underbelly of your roster and you're focused on giving Pritchard and Neesmith minutes in particular on this roster. And they are going to have some now. These guys are going to have real roles on this team as part of that bench unit. And they're going to have a good facilitator, I think, in Derek White to glue things together. Let's, let's it's say they're going to be pretty thin most nights, but it is when insanely called upon. thin. You are now, if you're running an eight man rotation, if you go past eight men in your rotation, you're now talking about major minutes for either Neesmith or, or significant. If anybody gets hurt, you're talking about instantly people going from zero minutes to major minutes on this team. If it, and that's as soon as you get the nine and 10 on this roster. So two people you haven't asked to do a freaking thing are all of a sudden, potentially your all the bench depth that you have moving Derek on from White's. your eight-man rotation if you view your eight-man rotation as um you know right now you've taken richardson out of it and you've added white to it and you've added tice as well i would say you know so you've taken out basically your eight-man rotation is now you've replaced you've replaced schroeder and uh, richardson with tice and just look white. at the player swap is tyson white for Richardson and Schroeder, you think on this team makes them better? Forget about all the other stuff you threw in. I think so, because I really like White. You know, I would trade Schroeder and Richardson for White alone. <laughs> the Rockets so. wave, Dennis, Im immediately. <laughs> uh, good luck, Dennis. Yep. Thanks for your time. <laughs> yeah.